Hi everyone, welcome back to Sunday School Online. Hopefully you've already watched Alice's video and you know today's story is all about Jacob. So I have a few crafts and activities regarding Jacob. Um, so the resources which you need this week are some colouring pens or pencils and crayons. Um, you will need a paintbrush and some paint. You will need a white crayon. You will also need um, a, just a blank piece of white paper. And then you will need to download and print out the resources from online. So the first activity which we have this week is of course our colouring in sheet. So it's a nice little picture of Jacob and Rachel. And Rachel's holding a little sheep. So if you want to colour that in nicely. The next activity then this week is a word search. So of course all of these are available on the download button just to the side. So um, this one is Jacob and Rachel and there's lots of words at the bottom just about the Jacob and Rachel and Leah story. And then we have a crossword. So if you want to just see if you test yourself on the story and fill in the words then. Um, all the words are down the bottom and then these are the questions. So see how good you remember the story. Then our last activity then today, um, you will need your blank sheet of paper. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our white crayon. And this is not really a Jacob story, this is our Jacob craft. This is more to do with Easter because Easter's coming. Um, so what I want you to do is take your piece of paper and your crayon and draw, re you'll need to lean really hard on the table, so draw the shape of an egg. Now this will be hard to see because it's a white crayon on a white piece of paper. So a little tip for you is um, if you draw it, but if you kind of like hold it then and shine it against like a, a light or just against the window, you'll see where the crayon is reflected. So draw the shape of an egg and then write a message in the middle to do with Easter. So some messages which I um, did on mine are he is risen or um, Jesus is alive or some one of your favourite verses maybe from the Easter story. Um, then you can decorate inside the egg but of course whenever you look at it you can't see anything. And then what I want you to do is to get your paint and your paintbrush and then colour in all over where you had the crayon on your piece of paper. So just colour it all in right over the top of the crayon and all around the crayon and around your egg. And what you will end up is with is something like this. This is one I did earlier. So hopefully you can see it's quite light but you can make it out the message it says Jesus is alive and I've did a couple of little flowers and a little heart at the bottom and then um, you can cut it out. So here's one that I also did. So he is risen and it's got a couple of little hearts in. it's in the shape of an egg. And this is to remind us of the Easter story and it's got this secret little message. And when Jesus was on the earth, he was physical and everyone could see him. But now that Jesus has gone up to God in heaven, we can't see Jesus. We can see um, the effects, like what he does, and we can hear him sometimes, but we can't actually see him. And that's like whenever you draw your white crayon on the paper, sometimes you can't see, but if you feel it, sometimes we can feel Jesus and you know it's there. Or if you um, then whenever you put the paint over the top, you can see his message like in the Bible. And the secret message, it's not a secret. The message of Jesus should be spread to everyone. So just remember, even though we can't see Jesus because he's up in heaven, he is there and we need to spread his message. Don't keep it a secret. So don't forget to watch the worship video and do Alice's quiz. So we're going to have a break now for two weeks. So we'll be back again on the 18th of April 
online and I hope to see you all back again then. I hope you have a really great Easter. Don't eat too many eggs and there's lots of crafts online so search for Easter crafts and try to make lots of these little secret messages, even pass them on to your family or friends for them to color in. They can, you can write the message and they can paint it and see what the message is. And don't forget, don't keep the message of Jesus a secret, spread it. And I'll see you after Easter. Bye.